In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a brand new feature from Divi, and this is multi-select and bulk editing. This is a really exciting feature, so I can't wait to show you. Hi, my name is Mac from marketingwithmac.com, where we show you how to turn your website into a money-making machine. Okay, so before we get started, this episode is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course, 100% free. It's called WordPress Mastery. This is a beginner course. If you're just getting started with WordPress, the link to that is in the description below as well. It's 100% free. And also, if you want, uh, if you're already a uh, WordPress user and you want to expand your uh, knowledge on Divi, I also have a Divi course called Divi Blueprint 3. It has a 50% discount and the link to that is in the description below. All right, so let's talk about this brand new feature, multi-select and bulk editing. Now, you know when you are building your page and you have several elements on your page and you decide that, mm, I need to change maybe the shadow or I need to change the font on this module. Now, you before this update, you would have to go in and do that change one by one. Now, you can imagine if you have quite a lot of elements on your page, this is going to take you a lot of time. So this feature right here, multi-select, is amazing because you can actually select the items that you want to make changes to and then bulk edit. So this is really exciting. In fact, let me show you how this works. So over here onto my computer. Okay, so right now I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you're running the latest version of Divi. So all you have to do is to come over here where it says updates, click on that, and this will show you instantly if you have all your themes and plugins up to date. So as you can see here, all my themes are up to date. That's because I've just recently updated my Divi theme. Right, okay, so what you wanna do now is to uh, create a brand new page. So I'm just gonna come over here, click on add new, and then I'm just gonna create a brand new page. So let's call this select for multi-select, okay? So I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder, and then I'm gonna go straight to the visual builder. And by the way, this feature that I'm talking about right now is only possible with the visual builder. So this won't work on the back end builder. Okay, so I'm gonna choose a pre-made layout just to make things easy for me because you don't wanna spend a lot of time building a brand new page. So I'm gonna click on uh, choose pre-made layout and then I'm just gonna choose a pre-made layout from here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, let's scroll down and see uh, which one we can go with. So I'm just going to go down, down, down until I find something that I think I'll work with. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go with this one here. Okay. I'm going to select here and then click on use this layout. So this will take a moment to, uh, to import. And then once it's imported, I'm going to show you how uh, this feature works. Okay, great. So everything has been loaded. And there we go. We have our page here. Fantastic. So I'm just going to hit publish. Okay, and then on the top here, I'm just gonna get rid of this section right here. Okay, right, so let's get started. So for this feature to work, what you would need to do is to go in and uh, select or choose the items that you need to select. So to do that, you want to hold down the command key. Now this is if you're using Apple. Now if you're on a PC, you have to press down the control key. So hit down, press down the control or um, command key, and then you want to select the items that you need to edit in bulk. Okay, so multi-select is, um, is possible if you click on the item like that and then come over here and also click. Now, do you notice that these two items now are selected at the same time? Now, I've let go of the control key. So now we can see that these two items are open at the same time. So what you want to do now is to click on this gear icon because this is the icon that takes us into our settings. So once you click on module settings, Notice that the changes that are going to happen here are going to apply on the two items that we had selected. Okay, let's try it out. So uh, let's say I come over here to design and uh, we want to change the, this uh, color, you know, the heading text color. Okay, so I'm going to choose this color right here. So now we can see that these two colors have been updated because these are the items that I had selected. Okay, so it's really, really cool. So you can go ahead and uh, make, you know, all the changes. I mean, if you want to uh, go in and add a uh, border, you can go in and uh, do so like that. And notice that everything that I'm selecting here is being applied to the two items that we had selected. So I think this is really, really cool. Okay. So let's close this and I'm going to do another example. Okay. So uh, let me just delete this because I don't need this. Okay. 
Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to choose sections, okay? So I wanna go with, uh, let's say this section right here because by the way, you can also multi-select sections, rows, and even modules, okay? So let me show you how to do sections. So right now, I'm holding down my command key. I'm gonna select this one here, and you can see that it's selected because it has this border around it. Okay, let's go down there and let's see. Uh, let's select this one as well. So I'm just gonna hold down my um, command key and then select. Okay, so now my two items are selected, as you can see. Now I can go in by clicking this gear icon to get into my uh, settings. So what I'm going to do now is to do something drastic so you can see both items or both sections being changed at the same time. So I'm going to come over here to background and change this background color, right? So you can see here it's a bit extreme, but this is just for uh, demo purposes only. So you can see this top section here uh, has a background color that has just been updated. If I scroll down, you can see that this one has been updated as well. And look at that. If I change this, now these backgrounds are being updated at the same time. So this is how the bulk editing works. I'm just going to close out of this because these colors um, don't look uh, really nice. So let's make further changes here. So I'm going to go back to the top over here. So let's say uh, with these images, I want to add some uh, backgrounds to this, okay? Some background shadows. So what you want to do, again, you hold down the command key, select this image, select the next one, and then the final one that you need to make the uh, edits to. And then all you have to do now, as you can see, I've let go my command key. So all you have to do now is to click on this gear icon to go into the modular settings. And then now you can go to design. And then we can go to uh, box shadow. And then now we can choose our shadows. Now notice that as soon as I selected my shadow, my shadow now has been applied to all my three images. And then you can just go ahead and choose, you know, whichever style that you want to go with. Okay, like that. So that is really quick. And then I think finally here we can just add a color to that as well. And now we can see that our three items have now been updated with our background style. Okay, so all you have to do now is to save and then everything is done. Right, so let's work with a different scenario here. So let's say you want to change maybe the font size uh, here. So as you know, uh, before this update, you would have to go in and uh, make these uh, font changes into each and every one of these. So I'm just going to do one final item here, and then I'm just going to select the items that I need. So I'm going to select this one here, this one, that one. So all three are selected. I'm going to click here on the gear icon, and now I'm going to go into design text. So let's say I need to change the color. You can change the color by doing that, the size. Let's say we reduce it slightly to maybe 14. So as you can see, this is how quickly you can add or make some uh, edits onto your page. And this saves you a lot of time. Now, I've been selecting like items. So what about if we are trying to uh, select different items? So let's say you want to uh, select an image. And then on the other instance, you want to uh, select a different module. Will this work? So let's give it a try. So I want to come over here. I want to select this one here like that and then i'm going to scroll down oh let's see uh let's select something different here we're going to come to this image and select this image like that okay so now i have this image and this text here selected so let's see if we can add styles onto these two totally different items so i'm going to click here on this gear icon come over here to design uh this time i'm just going to go to uh, let's go to border Okay, so now I'm going to add a border. So as you can see, my border has been applied both to the image and also to this text. So this actually works on different modules. So it doesn't only work on like modules, like um, blurbs, for example, or images. You can multi-change these things together and make multiple edits. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can also make these changes or these edits to rows, sections, and dividers. All you need to remember to do is to hold down the command key and then select the items that you need to uh, make the edits to, and this will make your bulk editing much, much easier. So as you can see, this is a fantastic feature. It, it uh, helps you work faster, and definitely this will increase your workflow, the speed of your workflow. So go ahead and try it out. This episode is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below.
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification. By hitting the bell notification, you'll be notified every time I release a new video. All right, so thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.